welcome back to the channel and I am going to be trying a new hot pot restaurant here in Carrollwood um, it's I guess it's a neighborhood in Tampa um, they just opened I think at the beginning of this month and I'm gonna just go in here it's called hot pot world um, I did look on the menu they don't have a lot of stuff on their menu like the one near USF um, well both near USF um, but we're still gonna go check it out and see what it's like and I want you to come along with me and keep me company the meats right here they have pork chicken beef tongue beef and also they have a lot of sauces right here that you can make everything is at the top oh they got some chicken feet squid salad seaweed salad um, they have some of the uh, sushi um, like the sea uh, I'm sorry the um, seafood items right here so they have a lot to offer. They have different noodles. They have some rice. They have crawfish. And here's their raw bar that you can put. And this is where you get your meat for the um, Korean barbecue part. Here's some noodles, some lettuce, some more different things to put in your hot pot. Here are the vegetables. There are different types of mushrooms. And down there is the, uh, the fruit. And then you will get your plate down there. So yeah. It's a lot to choose from and it's pretty big and it's really not packed in here at all so i while my um noodles are cooking i am going to be eating some seaweed salad and some squid salad let's see what it tastes like very good and let's try the seaweed salad Very good, very crunchy. If you haven't tried it, definitely try it. It's like like an appetizer whenever I come and cook um, with the hot pot and everything. All right, so this is the sauce I usually make. Um, I put cilantro, green onions, tons and tons of garlic, soy sauce, and sesame seed oil, and that, and then a little bit of squeeze of lemon. Now. The hostess made this for me, and I just mixed it up. I don't know what she put in here, but it is straight fire. Like, I am excited to dip my, I think it's gonna go good with seafood. So, yeah, I'm excited to try this with seafood because it is fire, and everything is pretty much done. So, we're gonna go ahead and get started and try this stuff. So I got my bowl of noodles and seaweed and um, mushrooms. So I'm gonna go ahead and start putting in um, my uh, the the beef and the pork. I didn't get lamb. I didn't think I know there's lamb up there, but I didn't get it. So we're gonna go ahead and start with some brisket. Oh. And we're gonna do some pork belly. So it's right here. 
and it will not take long for this to cook at all. Definitely cook the pork a little bit longer than the beef, but it's not gonna take long. You see how it's already turning like a brownish color and the beef is already a brownish color so that's what you're looking for and it should cook very very quickly this is gonna be so good and this is the dipping sauce and then that's the dipping sauce so i am so excited i usually um eat my seafood last I don't know why, but that's just my method, so, but yeah, so this is, this is some beef right here, and I'm gonna go ahead and pull out some of the pork, as you can see, and this is vermicelli noodles, you don't want to overcook the beef, you want it to be, you know, a little bit of chew. Up here's another one I missed. I think I got everything. Oh. All right, this is the last one. So I will share with you how it tastes. All right, so this is the pork belly and I'm gonna try it with her sauce that she made me. That is really good. Her seasoning is not too spicy because she asked me if I wanted it spicy and I'm like, no, because I'm already using the Szechuan broth. So I didn't want it too spicy. So I am gonna switch and I'm gonna use, get some more pork belly. So I'm gonna put it in mine. And that's my sauce. So good. It's really good. If you come to this one, they are located on Del Mabry in Carrollwood. And they are like maybe not even a mile away from the Sam's Club. So definitely come try them out. So let me try out one of the seaweed, I guess they call it seaweed braids or seaweed knots. Mm -hmm. Really good. I think this is like a um, shiitake mushroom that's been marinated and I think in like some kind of broth or whatever, but we're gonna try it. And this is super hot. It's really good. Mm. And this right here, Hold on. I gotta get my, uh... So this is the black fungi mushroom, which is really good too. Very good. You gotta come and try this. All right, we're gonna finish putting in the rest of the meat. And as usual, you just let it cook until it turns color. And we are gonna try it in the other different sauce. Okay, so we are back and the beef is done. And so is some, um, I think these are um, uh, enoki or seafood mushrooms, something like that. So we're gonna try it, try the beef in the uh, sauce that she made. Cause we just tried the pork. Now this is like, I think this is the beef belly. Mm -hmm. If I can get it. <laughs> All right, so this is pretty, this is the beef with some mushrooms. This sauce is so freaking good. And this one's good too. This is a little bit of the pork that was left. Then we're gonna dip it in there again. Very good. 
and here are the mushrooms. Super duper flavorful. I mean, I could dump this into the pot too, but it's just so good. I can't neglect mine, so I'm gonna try it with mine, of course. I'm just gonna grab one. And this is mine. It's so good. And this is one of their shiitake mushrooms. I'm gonna dip it in the sauce because I didn't last time. It's marinated in something. I don't know what it's marinated, but when you pick it up, like from the bar, it's very heavy. Okay. Did you use this? Yeah. Oh my god. It's good. And then some bok choy. Really, really good. <laughs> this is how I wrap my noodles. You know, it's just like pasta. You know, the vermicelli noodles. You just take your chopstick and keep rolling, and there you go. Mm. It's so good. You do have a two hour limit. I don't know how they keep up with it, but I guess they do keep up with it. I think I've only been here maybe one hour, so um, yeah. I don't try to stay here past the limit or even close to the limit, so I'm pushing my luck. But there's not a lot of people in here. It's very quiet. Um, they do have a lot of variety on their um, table. Um, so yeah, it's really, really good. All right, it is that time for seafood. Like I said, I got some shrimp that are huge. Look how big these boys are. Got shrimp, we got squid, we got octopus, we got crawfish, we got mussels, and we got clams. So basically rule of thumb is make sure your clams open whenever you put them in the broth. Make sure your shrimp is opaque, like pink and um, your squid and your octopus will like roll up, like fold up, and your crawfish. Um, I just usually cook those for like two minutes. Um, yeah, so that's what we're gonna get into. So let's go ahead and put it in here. All right, shrimp, squid, another shrimp, octopus, Another octopus. <laughs> um, here's some scallops, but I'm going to do those last. I'm going to go ahead and put the crawfish in. Another crawfish. And I'm going to go ahead and put these big clams in there. And we wait. You see how the octopus kind of just like rolled up? So it's almost done. And we're just gonna get this to a roll and boil and it'll be time to eat again. It's that time for the seafood. It is start to boil over. So let's take some of this out. So we got the crawfish. We got crawfish number two. We got both of the shrimp, and that's what I mean by opaque. You know what cooked shrimp look like. Oh, we got some octopus and the clam, which the clam is not ready because it's not open. So that's what the octopus look like. And that is a squid. You can tell it's a squid like that. We're just looking at animals with weird mouths. 
Hold on. Another octopus. Let's see what else is in here. Oh, I found a mushroom. The clams are not ready yet. Oh, this one's ready. One clam. So the other one is still cooking. And that is the octopus. This is the yeah. squid. And then the tiger shrimp and the uh, crawfish. And one little clam. Alright, so we are about to get started and eat these. Alright, so let's try this stuff. I'm gonna get her sauce that she made because I hate to say it, but it's better than mine. So we're gonna try the octopus with it. This is what it looks like. You don't have to be in the water. Yeah. Really good. You thought they were exclusively oh. in the water. When you're eating squid, make sure you take out this part because it's not edible. Mm. It's chewy, but it's really good. Alright, we're gonna try this clam. Really good. <laughs> let's try this, um, let's try the shrimp. And these are big shrimp. Super hot. I'm sorry, I'm not stuck in the head of a shrimp. I know it looks delicious kind of, but I'm not doing it. So I'm just gonna peel off the tail. And peel. And that's what it looks like. And we're gonna dip it in the sauce. Mm. That's really good. All right, so the squid. Let's do a crawfish. And that's, these are pretty big. I'm gonna, I'm gonna dissect him. So look at that. I just crack it with my teeth. I ain't studying it. There's a little bit of meat in here. Mm hmm. Mm. So the meat, and then what did I do? Okay, here. So you just twist. And 
pull out the tail. <laughs> and meat should pull out just like that, just like a lobster. And you are good to go. And now we're gonna try the other octopus. Oh yeah. Really good. It got messy really quickly. <clears throat> Next we're gonna put in the um, lobster ball, some more clams, different type of clams. We got a, um, uh, I forgot, pot sticker, crab, scallops, and mussels. And that's what we're gonna put in next. All right, so it's time to put the rest of the seafood in. The rest of the seafood out. I got me some clams and some mussels and um, scallops and stuff like that. So yeah, this is the mussels and there's a scallop in it. And a little bit of muscle. Very good. So, I think this is the last new hot pot restaurant in Tampa that I've checked out. I think I've checked out every one of them. I've checked out the ones in Clearwater St. Pete. Um, uh, Newport Ritchie, the three in Tampa, actually four in Tampa, well five now, so five in Tampa. So I've been to a lot of hot pot restaurants and you can never get enough. You can always make different combinations and you know, I always take myself out, you know, by myself and that's what I try to encourage people is to like go do things by yourself, go on a vacation by yourself, go travel by yourself, go out to eat. And that's what I tell people. If you're not comfortable going on a vacation, then take yourself out to eat. Yeah, you're going to get stares because it is taboo. But if you take yourself out to eat, you definitely can, um, you know, gain that confidence and go out by yourself. It does, mm, it does take time. I mean, I've went on a cruise by myself. I've went to Montana by myself. I've went to Colorado by myself multiple times. I go everywhere by myself. I don't have children. I don't have, you know, responsibilities like that. I have a mortgage, so yeah. So yeah, and I work at a job where it's flexible and if I do wanna go somewhere, I can always work remotely as long as I give them, you know, time and let them know. But yeah, everything is good. Um, like if you have any questions, definitely leave a comment down below. But definitely go out and try use some hot pot. I think, you know, it's good for everyone. I don't never get both hot pot and barbecue. It's just a lot of food for me. I'd just rather be able to control, you know, what I have right now. And um, so I can get as much hot pot as I want. And then barbecue, oh, and they do charge you by the pound. So if you come here by yourself and, you know, you get all this food and then you leave like a pound of food, they are gonna charge you. I don't know how much they charge you. Each restaurant is different. So just keep that in mind. So if you're coming here, you better eat everything or you will get charged. All right, I am back in the car and I had a great time. Y'all, the customer service was so great. They've only been open for a month. Um, they gave me 15% off because I'm vlogging. That was a first, like, so I was excited about that. Customer service, like I said, was great. All the managers were making sure I was well fed. I had everything. They were bringing me stuff to my table. They were making sure they were doing a good job. And 
absolutely they did. Um, I did greet the uh, four people that followed me behind me. They were so sweet. Um, they said they're gonna start sharing my video whenever I do upload it to their friends. So that's really good. Like, I love like, you know, meeting somebody and they see me trying and vlogging and they're like, oh, let me go support it. So yeah, so I told them about some hot pot um, places that um, I have tried. So they're gonna start their hot pot journey as well. So yeah, everything was great and I am extremely full. I will definitely be back. Um, I won't be vlogging the next time. I'll just be eating there just to eat there. But anyways, thank you so much for coming on to the channel and watching me eat and watching me cook hot pot. I don't usually get the hot pot and barbecue because that's just way too much food. And like I said, they do charge you if you eat and leave, you know, a lot of food. So I don't try to risk it. But anyways, thank you for watching. If you're new to this channel, please like and subscribe. Welcome. And I will be back with the next adventure. I don't know what I'm gonna be doing, but there's always gonna be something new on this channel. So happy eating everybody and i will see you guys on the next adventure bye